Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to what we believe is the most in-depth, interactive, fun, and engaging Forex, Gold, and Silver spot trading course for the novice and intermediate trader. We have done our utmost to make sure the software and interface is as user-friendly as possible. However, it still is a bit crucial to introduce the course to you via a detailed how-to-use video, and in this way, you should therefore feel extremely comfortable and confident to begin your journey in this incredible market. Before we get going, just a note that you can see we have our course labeled as FX The Master Course. This is really our master course which we use to operate and test the course and since we had to record this video before the final version, your labeling of the course will be the final version. Alright, ready? Let's go! The most logical place to begin and where you will be spending most of your time is inside the modules tab. As we see the main course consists of 6 modules. Naturally, if we click on module 1, we will see all the activities that are available in module 1. This is logically the very beginning of the course and as you can see the first activity is a video being well this video. In other words, the how to operate the course video which you're watching now. We're going to be explaining each activity shortly but for now about half of the course is in video format while the other half is all interactive activities or practicals or games or interactions, magazines and the like. In terms of videos however, you can see that the time of the video is displayed here. Why have we done this? Well this allows you to see if you have enough time to watch the particular video so that you can prepare yourself. It's a very useful function so take note of it while you're studying. Just as useful is a description next to the time that says offline. Many students have asked with previous courses to know if one has to be online all the time while studying the course or not. But we have designed it in such a way that 90% of the time you don't have to be online, only around 10% of the time. So the question is how does one know when to be online? Well that's where this indication comes in very handy. If the activity displays as being offline with a red circle, it means that this activity can be completed with no internet connection required. This allows you to study the course on the road, in the plane or anywhere where internet connection is a problem. We're going to shortly show you an example of an online activity, but before we get there, we see the last activity description being completed with a red eye. Simply put, this indicates that you have completed that particular activity. Our philosophy is that we need to teach you step by step and that's why each activity is principally locked until you complete the previous one. Once you have completed it, then you can move on to the next activity. In this way, we control not only what you are learning, but when you learn it. Alright, so let's just scroll down a little bit in module 1 to highlight a few things. Aha! So you can see here our first green light, indicating that this particular activity in order for it to work effectively is required for you to be online. Remember though that trading itself is an online business so we anticipate that you should be online for most of the time anyhow because it's far more effective to keep your trading platform up as much as possible and practice everything you're gonna learn in a real environment. So if the activities are locked until we complete them, how do we know how far we are in terms of the course progress? Well over here we can see that it is displayed per module. In this example, we see that we have completed 50% of module 1, which corresponds to 31 out of 62 activities for module 1. Okay, so let's scroll down manually now inside module 1 to see where exactly our last activity is. And there it is. You can see that at this point, all the activities are grayed out. Clearly, we will not be able to complete this activity until we go through what we call the latest activity, being the activity that we are currently on. In this case, that activity is all about the status bar and help. And we see that this activity is available to view, however, critically we see that our eye is now grayed out, indicating that we haven't completed this activity. Only once we have done so, will it convert to a red eye and then the next activity will open up for us to continue. So unsurprisingly, if we check out module 2, all the activities are locked, well because we haven't completed module 1 yet, 
and that's why the progress of module 2 is 0%. But you may be wondering, with all these activities, how do I know which one is the current one that I'm supposed to be working on? Alright, well you can see at the very top we have the latest activity section. By clicking this we are immediately taken to the activity that we need to complete in order to continue. Alright, so we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into the sub-menu. Of course, each activity has its own name, but below it is an indication of the type or nature of the activity. We can see this activity is a platform video, and below it on the next activity we see a platform practical. Below this is a theory video and a theory practical activity. In essence, these four form the main activities accounting for over 80% of the activities and are related to learning all the theory in trading as well as learning how to use a platform in detail. Clearly, as you can see after every video, be it theory or platform, there is a practical related to that video and this occurs throughout the course. It's no good simply watching a video. You have to be challenged and to complete practical assignments so that we are assured that you have learned and understood the concept being taught. But to really get a grip on all the available activities, it helps for us to identify and discuss the search activity section of the interface. As you would have most likely observed, when actually studying the course, the activities are mixed in a very carefully selected manner. But here, in the activity search section, we can search per category. This helps tremendously when revising because you can see all the activities in a particular category. The first activity category we see here is Core Resources. If we click on this, we can see that it actually is identical to the second tab at the top. Core Resources really constitute additional elements to the program such as introductions, software provided, links to websites, etc. If we take a look here, as an example, on the MetaTrader software resource and click it, we see that we are taken to a description page that explains what the resource is about. It's important to read this information, and then we are prompted to click the resource. In this case, you will be directed either to a web page to download the latest version, or it will download automatically. If we continue, we can also see there are links to assist you when you are ready to go live, and open a real trading account as well as template folders that we provide you to automatically make your setup in your platform just the way we teach you in the course without having to recreate it. When the time is right, we also provide you with a trading money management calculator as well as we can see here glossaries for all sections of the knowledge base amongst other important elements for optimal trading. This is mainly for you to refer back to. Simply by going back to the modules as we are doing here, we will guide you step by step as to when to do each activity so you can sit back and relax and focus on the studying aspect of it. The next activity we will focus on is theory videos that we introduced initially. Let's focus on this theory video called the basic building blocks in retail forex trading. We have pretty much dealt with all the descriptions except one being the favorites option. While throughout the duration of your studies you may find that you want to flag certain activities, we provide this option via our favorites section. You can see here we currently have flagged 4 activities. We're going to just flag this video to make it 5 favorites. You can click the favorites section and see that we have immediate access to these activities. And obviously you can deselect it once you're done directly from here. Alright, let's have a look at the actual player settings in the theory videos. As you can see the videos are full HD and superimpose the main interface. As soon as you leave the mouse for a while, the player settings will disappear and allow you to view the entire video. There is a logo on the top right that will always remain, in our case being our test master course. This is to ensure complete protection against video piracy, although it shouldn't distract you while you are studying. So let's just spend a few minutes discussing the play option. First of all, we have provided a double speed button for your convenience. This is mainly for revision when you want to go through the video again but single speed is a bit too slow. Or if you feel like you already know a subject, you can watch the video in double speed. Naturally, the first time you go through any video it's ideal to go through it at normal speed. On the opposite side of the scale, perhaps there is something you really need to take slowly 
and then you can use this button to go half speed so that you can focus on it. You can also of course stop the video but just remember though you'll be taken back to the beginning of the video itself. Alright we also have a volume scrub slider. Sometimes depending on the content you may want to or need to adjust the volume. If we then look at the top right we see that we have a full screen zoom button. This is applicable for all video content. Most of the time your screen will be larger than the course itself and many have found that the background provides a distraction when studying the videos as we see here. Ok we're going to remove this noise by just clicking the full screen button and all the desktop clutter is removed allowing you to focus perfectly on the video. We can always restore it at any time. And finally we have a scrub slider for each and every video. This allows you to move through any part of the video. The first time you watch the video, remain disciplined and watch the entire video but for revision this is a great feature. A very important note is that you have to finish every activity for the system to recognize that it is completed. So it's critical to wait for the video to automatically close itself down. Ok so here we will just scrub to the very end of the video and let it play out. As you can see it automatically closed down and returns to the interface. Ok so now let's turn our attention to the theory practical. As mentioned for every theory video there's a practical. So let's just open up the practical for the video that we just played around with and you can see here that the introduction reflects the same intro as the video so that we know that we are on the correct video. We're just going to play around with the interaction to show you what we mean by a theory practical. Here we see that we have to match the symbol with the currency itself to see if we understood and remembered it in the video. Once we have completed the task we need to click submit and here we see that we are correct so we can move on. Further to the interactions, we also have a full suite of games for you to play which test your knowledge and really assists you in fully understanding the concept. We're going to play a money game but there are many different types of games and although they are extremely fun, there is a serious objective behind them so persevere and complete all of them thoroughly. Next up we have platform videos, so not only do we have an entire series aimed at the theory of what is required to trade successfully, but getting to know your vehicle is ultra important. In this case, the vehicle is the trading platform itself and we teach you on the world famous platform MetaTrader. However, our training is extensive and by the time you're done, you will easily be able to trade on any platform you choose. It's like driving a car, once you drive one, then basically you can drive any car, although we prefer trading on the Mercedes Benz of trading platforms. So here we are taking a quick peek into a platform video and you can see even though they are screen capture videos, we put extensive efforts over the 4 years of development it took us to build this course to make them engaging and fun. Now just as with every theory video having an interaction, so do all the practical videos. These however come in the form of software simulations, so let's take a look at one. As you can see, these software simulations are somewhat different to the theory practicals. The idea here is once you have completed the simulations, you should be a pro at using the platform. The first simulation will spend quite a bit of time teaching you how to use them properly, so we won't need to waste too much time here. However, just briefly, you can see on the left hand side is the learning sequence and this is your guide as to what to do for every stage of the simulation. There are many virtual narrators helping explain and summarize the video itself, but once you see the target activated symbol on the lower left hand side of the screen, you know it's your time to make a move. In this example, we have to click F11 to move to the next slide, so the simulations even teach all the shortcuts for the platform which is actually a pretty cool addition. For every slide, there is a hint if you hover over the correct place. Here we can see that we are required to click the view menu icon and as soon as we find it and hover over this icon, then the hint will display telling us we are in the correct place. 
Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to focus and get a good feel for the platform. But the best thing you can do is to have your downloaded platform up at all times and practice straight away what you have watched in the video and simulated in the practicals. This will truly move you to a higher level very quickly. Alright, so we can now close down this simulation and move on to the next activity category. This being the articles. As we can see, they are all locked because they only start from module 2 onwards. They are actually an entire series of magazine articles specifically focused on the psychology of trading, which is probably the single most important foundation of long-term successful trading. Let's have a look at one of these magazines. Here we can flip the pages either by using this icon or alternatively by naturally flipping the pages. We can go back to the beginning of the magazine by clicking the home key button. The most important button to explain is the full screen button. It's advised to use this as the whole magazine will fill your entire screen and it'll make it for easier reading. When you're done, simply press the escape button to return to normal view and you can then close down the article. You can however also just use the zoom in and out buttons if you wish. We also have a thumbnails option to see all the pages in the magazine for quick access and well finally there is music in the background for each article so if you would like to you can mute this while going through the article. Ok so let's get back and view the last type of activity. And this is really the essence of practically seeing all the theory coming together. We call them TCIs which really means technical chart interpretations. A huge amount of effort went into building these and will definitely give you a good idea of how all the theory is applied in the real world trading scenarios. They only begin from a module that we have not unlocked yet, in this case being module 4 so that's why we have to go through a considerable amount of theory before we can benefit from seeing these. At the end of the course, these will also include real life trades which will take your knowledge to a whole new level and this will continue in the addition of resources which we will discuss shortly. For now, as we did with the magazines even though they are locked, let's just quickly peek to see what one looks like. We have sped this video up so as to not waste too much time, but it still gives you a good indication and motivation to get to this point to unlock these. Ok so that about wraps up our explanation of the various categories of activities. Now we can move on to other elements of the interface. Here we can see that there are two blanked out sections of the course entitled entire Q&A, effectively meaning all the questions and answers as well as the graduation. These two are locked right up until the end of the course. Only then will they be opened up and they are exceptionally important. The entire Q&A consolidates every single question asked in the practicals and gaming and allows you to summarize and consolidate your learning. The graduation certificate is provided by us with your details that you are more than welcome to print, save and maybe even frame and hang it up on a wall. Ok, so just continuing on our detailed search functionality on the interface. We can even do specific searches per activity type or category. As you can see we are actually still on the TCI category, but now if we click on module 6 for example, then the system will filter the TCI videos in module 6, giving you an extra level of control in your searching. If you do happen to search in this way, just be sure to click the clear filter section to clear the search. This will by default take you back to the show all activities at the bottom of the interface. For fun, we're just going to scroll right down to the very last activity which is a trading reference guide and plan that you should complete and it's only once you have done this that the entire Q&A and graduation certificate becomes available. Just out of interest, can you see that when you have selected show all activities, the system displays our total progress which happens to be 10% at the moment? Now because we wanted to show you the additional resources, this special version of the course has been kept open even though we have not completed the course. 
However, your additional resources will be locked until you complete the entire course. Essentially, this course is future-proof and we will be adding new material to the course which will be automatically downloaded onto your computer. We are very conscious of bandwidth and sizes, so we ensure that we send very efficient and small files for you. But essentially, this is how we can provide ongoing support and extra material going forward. As you can see, the additional resources are segmented in exactly the same categories as the main course activities, except the TCIs are now live trades. There will be an update that will show all additional resources, but as an example, if we go through the theory videos, here we can see that these additional resources are downloaded. The next tab to the right of additional resources are all the quick reference guide for the course. And although most of them are available in the core resources once unlocked, it is far easier to come here and see them all. And after all, that's why they're called quick references. Quick references constitute things like glossaries, trade scenarios, and trading plans. And here we can see that the general glossary is available right from the beginning of the course. And if we click it, we can see that we have access to it. You are more than welcome to create a file and print these quick references should you wish, otherwise you can just view them digitally. As you progress through the course, the other additional quick references will become available. Okay, so moving on, we have an alerts tab. And there are actually two types of alerts that we will highlight. The one is price alerts and once you subscribe to this portal, it can be a very big help when you require price alerts. The other is trade alerts where we will give you some insight into good trading alerts. These are dealt with in the additional resources section of the course. The final tab is the support tab and here you can view or amend your user profile as well as the ability to contact us by submitting a request. You also have quick access here should you want to open up another demonstration account or alternatively when you are ready to open a live account, you can always come back here and do it although it is available in the core resources of the course. Alright, that about wraps things up. The last thing we want to show you is the final way of searching and that is by using the dynamic type search function here. This search is also module specific but it can work to be used as a total search. For example, if we click on module 1 and type in an example search of chart, we see all the activities with the word chart are displayed. If we select module 2 and type in the same again, we see a different set of results because it's now searching within module 2. Should we want to do a global text search, then we have to click the show all activities section first and then perform the search. We can see here when we do the same that we have all the possible activities with the word chart in the name. Okay, that about wraps up the beginning of our wonderful journey as well as explaining how to use the course. We know we went into detail, however, we know that this is vital and hopefully you now feel comfortable to control the course. Remember, the interface is always being refined and improved. So you may see small differences in your version compared to this, but conceptually it's all the same. Hope you like studying the course as much as we love creating it. Good luck. <laughs>